nothing good happens after 10 p.m. So this is a little bit of a take on a, a saying that I've heard in the past and I want to give you guys a little bit more information about sleep and, and how important it is to you and really attacking your day. So, you know, getting good sleep and getting on a consistent sleep schedule you know, is really a game changer as far as performance and, and really has been for me. Uh, you know, we're going to be diving into this topic pretty deeply uh, throughout our time at Positive Impact Club. Uh, so I just want to hit on a couple points here. Uh, I am not going to kid you. It's simple to say that this process is, is easy, um, but you know, we really just need to break it up into to smaller parts and, and really talk about it a little bit more. Remember, the Positive Impact Club is really about small daily improvements compounded over time. If we do these small things, we really can get big results. So let's take that approach with, with your sleep and, and get into bed at a decent time. You know, I've talked and I'm going to continue to talk about you know, winning the day and, and, and really kind of like crushing your morning. The morning is your best time to get some of these things done. You know, every day when I wake up now, you know, there's a four in the first position on the clock. So whether it's four o'clock or 4.59, you know, I'm getting myself out of bed you know, with a four in the first position on the clock. This has been just such a game changer as far as my overall productivity and you know, my, just life enhancement. Like I, I just, I, I feel a lot better. Now I know you're telling yourself right now, wow, Todd is a maniac, okay? I'm never gonna get up with a four on the clock and you know, it's, that, that's just gonna be too hard to do. But keep a couple things in mind here, okay? You don't have to wake up at four o'clock, okay? You don't have to get up with a four there. It, it works for me, but it's not mandatory. You know, and you absolutely can wake up earlier than you are right now. And that's all we're gonna focus on. You know, it, it, that's really the best time to say like, I get up and like, I crush my morning. I get everything done in the morning. The only thing that's stopping you from doing this is you. The great thing about being in the Positive Impact Club is that, you know, we don't just tell you, you know, like do X, Y, and Z. You know, we, we, we give you the why and the strategies that you need in order to get these things done. You know, today I want to focus on getting to bed earlier so that you can get up earlier. All right. We've already kind of heard this expression. Uh, I've heard it a long time ago. It's like nothing good happens after 1 a.m. in the morning. And this really comes from kind of when we were younger and we wanted to keep the party going. The bartender uh, in college yells a last call. Uh, we all get a drink and down it and then everyone's kind of like, hey, uh, where are we going after this? Uh, and it would really, if you think back to college, uh, this is the case for me, it was after one o'clock when the bars closed that uh, you know, I made a lot of my poor decisions and a lot of my friends had their run-ins with uh, law enforcement. I luckily uh, stayed out of trouble with the boys in blue for the most part. Um, but that's when bad things happen. Uh, and have you ever noticed like professional athletes and celebrities, uh, they aren't getting arrested at noon uh, or even before midnight? You know, there's a reason for that. When you, know, you stay out late at night and you do things later, you tend to get into trouble. You know, my days of watching the sunrise on a rooftop at a club in Las Vegas with uh, my friend Scott are behind me. You know, so I've had to modify this saying. And you know, what I say is like, you know, nothing good happens after 10 p.m. You know, I know if I can get my butt in bed, at 10 p.m. or earlier, I can get up with a four on the clock the next day and really crush my next day. You know, every minute past 10 p.m. really decreases my chances of doing that and pushes me from four closer to 4.59. You know, your brain is, is proven to just be best first thing in the morning when you wake up. There's tons of neurological studies that have been done that, that show this by people that are a lot smarter than me and uh, we can talk about you know, more about this at a later date. Um, but there's just excellent research out there about it. Your brain is gonna be best in the morning. You know, have I stayed up late before and gotten a lot of work done on a deadline late at night? Yeah, I've done that. Was it my best work? Uh, probably not. My best work and my most creative work is really done first thing in the morning. So I really guard that time. You know, I mean, I really need to make sure that time is set aside for me. So if you want to turn your productivity up to 11 and you, know, you, can, you can use these same techniques and tactics. Remember, your brain has become the most important tool in the information age of the 21st century. That's how we earn our money. So we got to take care of it. Staying up late at night to veg out on television and have one more drink before bed is really just robbing you of time in the morning. And it's kind of like a professional athlete going and working out like really hard the night before the Super Bowl. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Getting yourself into the habit of you know, having a 10 p.m. curfew is really what I suggest for you. And I guarantee it really will increase your chances of winning the next day and allow you to get up a little bit earlier. Once you get into a better habit, you know, and use the tools that we give you at the Positive Impact Club, you're gonna go from just being okay to really winning the day and really just crushing the morning. 
So, you know, no episode of Game of Thrones or an extra Jameson Varys Reserve, as much as I enjoy it, is really going to top that. So I encourage you to have a little discussion with your teammates. Uh, talk about, like, when you get to bed. You know, what's your average time you get to bed? Talk about, um, you know, like, what time you wake up. Are you the kind of person that gives yourself time in the morning? Or are you kind of, like, getting up in just enough time to throw your clothes on and get to the office? Have a discussion about that and you know, see if you can incorporate some of these strategies and getting yourself to bed a little bit earlier in order for you to have you know, just you know, a bigger impact, a positive impact on you and your team.